Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man, giving you the truth. What I just saw is unbelievable. And this just reaffirms the way that I think. This just reaffirms why I don't deal with these churches. Uh, it reaffirms a lot of things. I don't deal with these churches because they walk around and I like hearing Bible stories. Don't get me wrong. But they walk around here talking about what happened in the Bible. When what I just saw, that's the type of stuff that you got to talk about. You're not saving souls if you're not coming to them from a standpoint of what I just saw. And does it make no freaking sense? So I'm going in Uber or going in uh, uh, CVS. And while I'm going in there, I see a woman storming out. I started to tape it on my phone. I really did. I saw her storming out of CVS with a cart filled with items. I see the CVS worker coming from a little distance back. So he says, where are you going with my cart? She was trying to steal the stuff, y'all. Now get this. She walked out with all of them items. Had to be hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. So he went out and grabbed the cart. She wrestling with him for the cart. He getting stuff back. But she's still trying to take as much of it with her as she can. And she wasn't the driver. Somebody else was with her. Listen, 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 listen. Please, YouTube, do not censor this unless you have a secret hidden agenda against black people. I fully expect that you will allow this video to play that will perhaps benefit black people. If do black lives matter? Of course. But no one, no one, no one, no one is in the world to steal. If that's what you offer the world, then you are what the Institute of Economic Thought calls a worthless person. It's crazy, man. She fighting with him over the stuff. And I guarantee you, if I wasn't standing right there watching, which is one of the reasons why I stood there, you say, well, you could have got shot. This, They could have shot first. They could have shot first, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But that book was going to end before it began. That story was going to in before it began. We ain't going to talk about that. So, it was a, a getaway driver. U.S. CVS. This is why people, this is one of the reasons, it's no justification for narrow-minded people who act like we all going to do this. But this is the reason why a lot of them act like that. Because of people like her. Yeah, it was a woman. With her little braids, dress nice, freaking thief. She had the car. She was storming out of there. He said, "Where are you going with my car?" And he grabbed the car, and they tussled him for the car. Stuff falling, the car tip over. She battling to get as much of it as she can. He's steady taking stuff from her. So if she tried to say he hit her, I'm right there. I'm right there. Like, I'm like, he didn't hit her. Like he said, I just wanted my cart back. Because, and then what's sad about jobs like that is due to the black people acting like, well, I got to watch what I say on, on YouTube. Acting lesser. As if they have to scavenge. You just a lot of us are becoming scavengers. When you could you can work at McDonald's, you can work at Burger King. How's your criminal record? Oh, it's fine. I've never been okay. Well, you're gonna end up in jail trying to steal like that person was doing. 
You got Burger King? Well, where I'm at right now? Mexican restaurant. Burger King. McDonald's. Restaurants all through here. You got restaurants. You got this store. You got that store. You can work. Why won't you work? Is there something wrong with you? Why won't you work? If you trying to sell products, you still in the getting the Bible says dishonest gain dwells away. No wonder why some of y'all that still have to keep stealing, 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 stealing. Because dishonest money dwindles away. And those of you who watch me, you already know how I feel about that stealing stuff, man. You already know how there's no sympathy for a grown person, able bodied and healthy, to be stealing. Now, I told the story of how when I was in Texas, like things wasn't going right. I didn't have my car at first. My car was still up north. Things weren't going right, but I was grinding, grinding, grinding. I had a job where they was throwing tires to me. Shoo, 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 labor ready. I'm picking the tires up, stacking them how they want them stacked. Some of them were big. They was semi-truck tires, some of them, stacking them up. $30. Like some, like sometimes it take four hours, you'd be sweating like a hog. $36. Take the 36 home. Break it right down. Tell my wife, well, we're, we're going we're gonna to eat this. We're going to eat today. We're going to eat ramen noodle, horseshoe or, or shoestring fries, bologna sandwiches. Then we, we'll have something for the next day. And I did that all the way up until I found a steady job. And the jobs was they play games with you. You, 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 you know. You you don't let them get away with stuff, slash, cut. Then you, you know, finally found a decent job where they just left me alone and respected my work. But all that time, I didn't steal one item. I didn't steal anything. I didn't steal one item. You know, now if you on the same level as me, if you smarter than me, because a lot of people think they act like they're smarter than you. If me and you on the same level, you on a higher level than me. Yeah, how are you stealing? Because I didn't steal one item in Texas. And I didn't go a day without eating. No steady job, no nothing. I was doing labor ready. I was doing whatever I had to do. Whatever I had to do. Now, if you dudes think y'all better than me, if y'all women, y'all dudes, you think you better than me, you think you stronger than me, you think you smarter than me, I ain't steal one item. I don't steal... I'm not sitting there saying I never did because a lot of y'all that's going to see this video, y'all know me. We ain't talking about when I was little, bad kid and stuff like that. We ain't talking about that. I don't steal. Now, you better than me. You stronger than me. How you stealing? How you stealing? How you robbing? How? I don't, I, I, I don't do it. So if you better than me, you stronger than me. If I'm just an old man, some of y'all young dudes, if I'm just an old man, right, how are you stealing? I ain't stole one item. I done had to ask people for stuff in the past. I ain't stealing nothing. I'm out here working right now. Now, if you better than me, you tougher than me. How are you stealing? How are you robbing? How are you walking around with them big eyes, them little slinky some of y'all in the slingy brain, no disrespect to good kids that have the same hairstyles. All them, the ruffle, all that. But you out here stealing. You talking about oh, old school, he old man. I ain't stealing nothing, man. I'm out here working. Y'all y'all going to CVS, stealing. You stealing cars. You doing all this foolishness. You not the man I am. That's what it is. That's what it boils down to. There's nothing you can't do, you can do, that I can't do as an older man. You got to get where I'm at. You got to get where I'm at. You, oh, he an old man. You, you 22 and you got to steal to eat. Man, stop it. You walking around with pocket watching, looking at everybody's wallets. But you on the same level as me? You walking around, you need four dudes with you to win a fight. You need guns to win the fight. For one, 
You shouldn't be fighting if you don't have to fight. You should learn how to resolve your issues without fighting. But yet, you want all this food. That's why I don't nobody want to live around y'all. That's why all that stuff about police was pure foolishness. Some of y'all need to get dumped on your neck. You going around stealing, you think the police going to say, hey, guy, hey, woman, stop stealing. Oh, I don't want to use force on you. Please stop stealing. No, you going to get what you got coming. And anybody that ever, and some of y'all, and this is what I encountered too when I was incorrect. There were some people that was overly sympathetic because of their upbringing. No, facts are the facts. Truth is the truth. Because of your upbringing, you oversensitive. Nah, man, that's what's wrong. Then the old man was in there. The story ain't done. Old man was in there. Oh, man. Oh, this, uh, oh, this. My friend got shot like that. I said, you can't be scared of him now. I said, because when you're scared of him, that makes it even worse. All y'all older people walking around scared of these people. Y'all fueling this negativity. Get you some guns, man. Get you some brass knuckle. It don't matter how old you is. I mean, I'm not promoting violence. I'm not promoting violence. I'm stri strictly promoting morality. Stop the stealing. Not promoting violence. But he talking all this scary talk. That's why a lot of smart people, they don't really like talking to older people no more because you're not finna put no fears in me. This dude talking all this scary talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, my guy got you. Listen, I might have, I didn't have to say what I said. I said, oh, that's even better. They shoot first. Because the thing is, I don't want no trouble. But I'm tired of hearing about all this garbage these people is doing. It's fueling something. I'm not going to bother nobody. But I'm not finna walk around like him. <laughs> no, you shoot. Pew. I'm gonna get out the way. See where you at? And they coming right back. They come. See, and then what's crazy? The Bible told you you shall not steal. These people are stealing like they ain't no God. Like if, if somebody kills you for coming in their yard or you slip on the ice, hit your head trying to steal all that stuff she was stealing. She act like life is over with. No, life is just beginning. You got billions upon billions, zillion, gazillion of years left in life. Y'all listening to people, the, the enemies of God, trying to tell you he don't exist, all this other weird stuff they teaching. And it's making you act like you're an animal, animalistic, savage behavior. Listen, animals die every day in the streets. Sm squirrels. Raccoons die every day. Deer. They die every day in the street. So you're going to have to be more than just an animal to make it out here. And people wonder, oh, why why the homicide rate? So, and and every, every, everything that happened. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, the residents are, are, uh, they're calling for an end to the violence. It's not going to end. As long as you got guys like that old man scared of these people. As long as you got judges overly sympathetic. Person that been in before you seven times. How is he not in jail? How is he not in prison? He done been before you. Oh, well, he comes from a troubled upbringing. Then they, then they go all the way out to Waukesha or Brookfield somewhere. While he over here stealing all our stuff. That's one of, I couldn't stomach those commissioners in that when I was working in DT no more. Then he tried to talk to me, talk down to me. Boy, you should be glad. Cause I, you would have got jacked up if I would have, if I would have been able to jack you up. The dude, he lit all these people off. Then he trying to talk down to me. Man, I would have jacked him up if I could. I'd have been like, I done went to the, Superintendent, like, if I jack him up, what's going to happen? Because this dude, he letting all practically 70% of the people go. Come, keep coming, coming, coming. Remember, they robbed this person, broke in this person's house, stole this person's kid. And he keep letting them out. But he want to talk down to us because the computers wasn't working right. Man, please, you a clown. 
Use a clown. I don't even got to say your name. You know who you are. If you see this, you know you're a clown. And you know that you intentionally trying to tear up Milwaukee because you probably don't live here. Probably live out in Brookfield, uh, um, Elm Grove somewhere. He looking like that. Letting all of them go. To come out here stealing, getting people to work for places like CVS, pick and save. They getting in trouble. They trying to blame it on them. Because you can't, you can't go out and work. You out here stealing all this, you stealing all the inventory. And people don't want to say nothing. Y'all be on Facebook trying to not like stuff this harsh. You're part of the problem. Just thought you should know that. You part of the problem. Because see, you want to talk about what the police is doing. The police are actually helping things not be worse than they are. And these people want to talk about what the police are doing. What's your IQ, man? What's your IQ? Only thing you should be talking about is how are they being trained? How's the hiring process? Are they getting the right people in there? You should not be talking about when they had to deal with women like that. They're stealing and trying to fight to keep the stuff they stole. And, and listen, you older people, you see something going on, you scared to tell it, you part of the problem too. You put them police in their life. You know they on your block stealing cars, doing all kind of stuff, and you scared to say anything. You must not be spiritual because you act like either you believe God don't exist or you scared to die because you know you're not with them. These people is getting ridiculous. And then you got the nerve to try to tell me who I should vote for. And the person that you want me to vote for advocates these type of clowns out here. This stuff is, man, 